Hey, it's Lisa, and I hope that you are having an amazing day today. Um, here in New Jersey, it is really warm out. Um, it's a beautiful day, though. No rain or anything, so that's always good. Um, but today, I really wanted to talk to you about the key to victory. And it's short, it's simple, um, and it's simply this. It's to hear and obey the Holy Spirit. I mean, in a nutshell, you have to hear the voice of God and obey what you feel the Holy Spirit is telling you to do. And you know, a lot of people ask the question and they say, but how do I know God's voice? How do I hear God's voice? And so I was on the phone with a great friend of mine today, Dr. Rose Poole, and she's just an amazing, mighty woman of God. She's an apostle. She's just awesome. And we were talking about victorious living and how you know, I, I was saying, if you never want to make a mistake, I mean, we all make mistakes, right? Because the the spirit wars against the mind, the mind wars against the spirit. It's, I know I should, but I want to do this and that kind of stuff. But I was saying, if you never want to make a mistake, just listen to whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do and just do it. Just do it. And if you feel like you've missed it somewhere, ask him. Like, you know, and I say this often, but I do this all the time and I say, Lord, you know, I, I, and sometimes I'll say, Holy Spirit, I don't want to miss anything you're saying to me, so shout if you have to. You know, the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He's not just going to barge his way into your life. But my good friend Rose, she brought up a scripture today, and I'm going to read it to you real quick. It's from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19 and 20, and I love it. And I'm sure you've heard this before, but it says here, if you will only obey me, right? This is the Lord talking. If you will only obey me, you will have plenty to eat. This is the um, New Living Translation, but another translation says, if you will obey me, you will eat the good of the land. Or if you are willing, right? Meaning if you're willing to obey the Lord, you're going to eat the good of the land. You're going to have the best results. You're going to have everything that he has for you, right? But it takes a willing heart. And in the conversation today, I love what she said. She said, if you have a willing heart, that means you'll have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to you, what the Holy Spirit is saying. I love that. So let me just finish this. If you will only obey me, you will eat the good of the land, right? Or you'll have plenty to eat, meaning you're going to have the best that God has for you. It says in the next verse, but if you turn away and refuse to listen, you will be devoured by the sword of your enemies. Whoa right? A lot of times people say, well, you know, why am I going through this? Why am I going through that? Have you prayed about it? Have you heard the Lord? And if you're not sure, then you need to get with him in prayer. Now, here's another thing. A lot of people don't read the word of God. How are you going to know what the Holy Spirit is saying if you don't read his word? You've got to read the word because whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do, it's not going to contradict the word of God. So it's, I mean, we're going to be led by the word. You're going to be led by the word of God. So make sure you know the word of God. And, you know, there's a lot of, my gosh, there's so many great teachers out there. Um, Andrew Womack is one of my absolute favorites. His own son was raised from the dead. I mean, you get results like that. I, I pay attention, you know, and there's many, many great teachers out there, but you've got to get into the word for yourself. You know, I, I grew up Catholic and there's nothing, nothing wrong with the Catholic Church. Don't, don't just hear my heart on this. I'm just saying, you know, I wasn't taught correctly and I know that there's much more revelation being poured out today, but you need to get alone with the word, you know, with the word and with the Lord so he can speak to your heart. Otherwise, you'll always be riding on someone else's revelation, you know, and, and God might give an instruction to someone else and you're saying, oh, I need to do that. No, that was for that person. You need to get with God and find out what he has for you because you are unique. He gave you your own set of gifts and talents that, you know, so you never have to wish that you're like someone else ever, never, right? Never. Hey, there was a time I went through that too. I'm looking at this one. I'm looking at that one. I'm saying, oh my gosh, I want to be like this. I want to be like that. Look at how they're doing it. Maybe I should be doing it like that. Uh-uh. You know what? I had to get rid of all of that and tell, trust me, it will bring you such peace. You get alone with the Lord. You have your own race to run. 
get you know a, a pen and paper keep it by your bed what I like to do these days with the smartphones is I like to record early in the morning I'll get messages from the throne room of God literally I'll get messages from the Lord and I grab my phone and I'm like you know the Lord said da, 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 da. and I'm so glad I do that because then I go back and listen to it and I'm like oh my god thank you there's no way it didn't come from me so I, there's no way that I would remember it if I didn't record it right away um, or you can write it down but just keep in mind the key to victory is paying attention be led by the Word of God be led by the Holy Spirit right those who are led by the Holy Spirit are the sons and daughters of God okay so God bless you my friend and I will talk with you real soon all right God bless you have a wonderful rest of your day bye bye now oh and just real quick if you like these videos make sure that you like the page facebook.com forward slash Lisa Boldo because I have so much more that's going to be coming so um, and share it with anybody that you think would benefit from these videos all right God bless you have a great night all right bye bye